That 70s Remodel, a Build Original Series, is brought to you by Huber Engineered Woods. This home started with all the usual 1970s problems. Dated design, poor insulation, and inefficient materials that just couldn't keep up with today's standards. But this isn't just a cosmetic update, it's a full performance overhaul, and that starts with the building envelope. Upgrading the enclosure to Zip System R sheeting helped us boost the home's thermal performance while streamlining our install. It gave us a continuous exterior insulation and a built-in water-resistive barrier all in one step. In Utah's variable climate, we rely on Zip System products for both remodels and new builds. They help us manage moisture, air leakage, and insulation without overcomplicating the wall assembly. With Zip System and Inveant Tech, we get fewer steps, faster installation, and job site durability that holds up even when the weather doesn't cooperate. These are trusted brands among top builders for a reason. Reliability, performance, and ease of use on real world job sites. Learn more and check out available rebates at huberwood.com. Hey guys, Stephanie Daly with Stephen Daly Construction and today we are back at that 70s remodel talking a little bit about air and water barriers. Let's show you the method that we decided to do on this project. Follow me. All right, as you know, we decided to use the Zip R system on this house. So we have come through and taped all of our seams around the entire house, but we've done a few other extra things to help make the air sealing much better on this project. So we've gone around the entire perimeter of the home and actually used Zip's liquid flash to cover the gap or the connection point between the sheeting and the top of the foundation. So this home used to have a complete brick exterior, so it had a four inch brick ledge. And we're replacing that with a thin cut stone. So we're going from four inches down to about an inch and a half. So what we've done is we've come through with liquid flash and actually caulked that seam. We've ran it up the wall a little bit and across the top of the foundation a little bit. We will apply a metal flashing that'll come out and over the edge of that foundation to help get the water out and away from the house. And we've done that around the home. So let's go around back and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, so here on the garage side, we've started to come through and use our zip tape to do all of the door and window openings. We've had all these covered in OSB just to protect the home from not having people break in and critters get in or out. So now that our windows are being delivered today and we're gonna install tomorrow, we're starting to pull this and get everything prepped and ready. So in addition to the zip tape that's gonna go around the openings, we'll use Zip's stretch tape in the corners to cover any of these gaps that you're seeing between the vertical and horizontal tape. And that's very common. We've actually added a whole new service, electrical service panel to this house as well. So we've done some Something unique over there to make sure that we keep water out. So let me show you what we've done on this part. All right, so check this out. We had the previous service, the actual, the riser was broken on it and it was in terrible shape anyways. Um, and it was mounted to the brick exterior, which was obviously clear out flush with the foundation. Now with us having thin cut stone, our wall's clear back here. So we framed a whole nother wall. We kept it the same height as the door that's right past it, just for that continuity of a, a nice clean horizontal line. We've just framed out an additional wall. We zip tape this. We will come through and put a tape from here onto the wall as well. But we have used our zip liquid flash all along the bottom. We made sure to seal up the bottom before we set it down on the foundation. And then the electrical contractor actually used the zip stretch tape and just placed that over the green panel before they applied their new service. So as they drilled their screws through it to mount the service to the wall, they're all sealed nice and tight and everything is great. So we're gonna come through, add one more piece of flashing tape around the sides and the top just to protect this gap between these two. And other than that, you guys, this is coming along super nice. Like I said, we blower door tested this before we started 
it was pretty leaky home, so I'm excited to see how it turns out when we're done. Because of the tightness that this house is gonna have now, we decided to actually add an ERV to the brand new HVAC system. So that'll be really great. It'll help bring that fresh air in, make it so that you have clean air in the home. You don't wanna get sick from that stale, gross air. And we also don't want the house to be too tight where we're suffocating the flame in the fireplace or bringing back in carbon monoxide. So this is coming along really well. We need to get some scaffolding up to get the upper areas of the zip panels taped. But outside of that, it's moving along really well. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at Stephanie Builds It. And we'll see you next time on The Build Show.